Bleh. We know that Glenn Danzig is a lot of things, guys. He is a lot of things. He's a musician. He's a singer. He's a songwriter. He plays guitar, bass, drums. He plays the piano. He's a composer. He is a writer. He is a director. He is an actor. He was a record label owner and runner. He's a graphic artist. He's a photographer. And he does illustration. He runs a comic book company. He's an art dealer. For better or for worse, he does it all. It's really kind of weird to think that Glenn Danzig was also a movie critic. That's right. Glenn Danzig, for a period of time in the early 80s, wrote these tiny little movie blurb reviews for Flipside Magazine. Ugh. If you don't know what this one is, what the fuck you doing here? Road Warrior. Another one of my absolute favorite films. I was blown away to think that one of my favorite musicians reviewed one of my favorite films. Kind of kind of blew my mind. It's weird to hear Glenn talk about Mad Max. Mad Max is the reason why I wear a leather jacket today. Mad Max was my Star Wars growing up. That was my Star Wars. Yeah, I had Star Wars, obviously, but dude, it was all about Mad Max. He says, this is the sequel to Mad Max, but that's where the similarities end. Mad Max was boring, but Road Warrior is the ultimate statement on survival. In the not-too-distant future, scavenging Mohawk men riding the highways of the wasteland searching for new victims, hunting out gas. Max gets really fucked over in this one, but manages to survive it all. He ends up looking like a walking contusion. Plenty of harsh brutality, violence, rape, murder and death. All the things that await you in the post-war life. I've seen this five times and at 10, I'll lay off it for a while. See this at least once. So Road Warrior gets a glowing review from Glenn Danzig. That's hilarious. I'm sure he was just like sitting in the theater going, hey Dave, hey Dave, people are going to talk about hey Dave, hey Dave, living hell is not so bad. You bet your life, there's going to be a fight, you know. Earth After Doomsday, Road Warrior, love it. I mean, what is there to say about Road Warrior? It's just a phenomenal, a phenomenal classic, man. It just, oh, God. You know what's funny? I don't know if I've talked about it here before, but I've, I, well, you, if you've watched my other videos, you know how much Night of Living Dead and Dawn of the Dead and Return of the Living Dead mean to me. And while I love Return of the Living Dead, I don't think I could ever make Return of the Living Dead, but as a filmmaker, I was talking about being a filmmaker, one of my dreams would be to do my own version of Night of the Living Dead. And if I did, it would basically, I would take the plot of the Road Warrior, kind of, and then transpose it onto the plot of Night of the Living Dead. So you got your, your guy that comes to the compound, aka the farmhouse, and tells him that he sees a truck down the, the road and that it's big enough to t help haul everybody that's in in the house back, you know, back out to safety. And if they can just work together, they can all get out of there alive. And of course they they don't. That's my that's my take on Night of Living Dead. And I would do it by way of Road Warrior. So I figure I would just express my my passion for that. <laughs>